Well, hello everybody. Hi community. It's your girl Folu Storms checking in officially because it's about to be lit. There's an IG live session that's going down in just a couple of minutes. I'm going to have one of the superstars of the BET original drama series, Isono, here with me. And all this week we're going to be interviewing the live cast members. All this week. So welcome guys. Come on in. Get settled. I'm burning a bit of my incense because we have to rebuke the spirit of poor internet connection and make sure that we can have this chat in a great way i'm super excited i hope that you guys are too yes 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 we're going to have rami chuene up in the building in literally a couple of minutes and i'm sure that you guys have got questions for rami so please 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 drop these questions okay in like the little question box below because when we get into it we're about to get into it okay and i don't want it to be a safe ah, folu didn't tell you so for those of you who don't know again i'm folu i'm folu storms so i'm going to be hosting this cool little ig live session i'm super excited i don't know if you guys are as you can see my game face is also on i put on all this makeup for you did my locks and things because normally i'm a bit more scruffy in real life ask my friends ask about me they know because really this life you just have to take it one by one, small by small. For those of you who don't know, Rami Chuena is a fantastic South African actor, singer, mother, uh, voiceover artist, presenter. I mean, she does it all. And in this Isona series, I haven't seen the series yet because it launches on the 28th of September. But yo, if you have seen those clips, it's a, it's a fire stuff. So we're about to jump into this. I'm gonna check to see if Rami's around, if she's ready to go live. So guys, it should be a dope conversation. I want you to participate in the conversation as well. So make sure that you drop your questions, your comments, whatever it is that you wanna say. Now's the time to get into it because it's about to be really real in one minute, one minute. Hi to everybody who's over there. Bravo, Brian Moyo, hi, hi, hi. So glad that you can't wait. I see Ghana in the building. Shout out to my Ghanaian brothers and sisters, West africa in the building you know is gonna be a fire stuff yep that's right grand prince ita hello there niger in the building of course because also i'm here so we gotta represent you know what the deal is you know what the deal is guys so let me see i'm just gonna scroll through and just check to see if rami is in the building um if rami has come in rami if you have mama please do send um an invite but in the meantime i'm just gonna be up here searching so you guys bear with me if I look a little bit like lost. <laughs> it's because I'm typing things. Um, I'm sure she'll be here any second and once she does, we're going to go into it. So I'm super excited about Isono. Isono, for those of you who don't know, I think in Swahili it means sin. I'm going to be checking again with Rami because she's the authority really. I'm just here to facilitate a conversation. So we get to find out a little bit more about her, a bit more about the series, and a little bit more about what to expect. But guys, if you have not set your reminder, please, hello, 28th of September, that is the day to be ready to rock and roll. Um, I've been talking about it on BT Breaks. I know my sis Nobalanga has been talking about it as well. I know the whole team's been flooding your timeline. I'm sure you guys have seen it, seen it, seen it again, but spread the word. Let the good people know, all right? Let everybody know. Now, let me go check. I think Rami is around. I think she is on standby. So I'm going to go search in here and see if she pops up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, there's so many names. Guys, this is so cool. I love that all of you are in here. I love that you're all here. I love that you're here, which is so cool. Hey, everyone. Put up your flags as well. Let me see. Let me know where it is that you're checking in from. That'd be so cool. Let me know. I want to know, guys. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Rame, where are you? Where are you, Rame? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I think I'm technology. This is this like thirty plus like social media behavior. Am I just challenged? Can I just not see her? Is that just me being one kind? Hello, Bravo, Brian Moyo. Thank you for that compliment. Telling me I look stunning. I think that's so cute. I think that's so cute. All right, guys, bear with me. I am in here just trying to make sure that tech doesn't fail me. Hey, the spiritual one, more Niger. Of course, South Africa is in the building. Of course, you're in the building. What's up, SA? Ooh, all the way from the States, too. We have all these people here. This is so cool. I absolutely love it. Ah, 
that there. Let's see, let's see. Let's see if I can get her on. Yes, Rami is there. So let's go. She'll join me now, 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 now. Super exciting. Hello. Hi. Hi, beautiful. Hi, Hi. Amy. So how good. are you? I'm good. Look how beautiful you're looking. I oh, just for you, Mama. I painted my face just for you. Just Why for you. Why did I not paint my face, though? <laughs> because you're a star. You don't need it. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Listen, before oh, we go into it. Thank you. Listen, I have oh. to say, before this interview, I, I went and did my research to find out more about you because I'm learning so much more about South African actors, yeah. TV, and you. First of all, I'm humbled by the amount of work that you have done and how brilliant all of it is. All of it. Thank all of you it. so much. And second, your vibe, your energy is so <laughs> lit. In every single interview, I was like, look at this woman glow from the inside out. <laughs> I know, apparently I actually talk a lot as well. <laughs> but thank you so much. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be talking to you all the way from Niger. Ah! Hey, when it's this exciting. lockdown business is done, you must come visit us in Niger. We want you to come of visit us. Of course I have to. I don't have a choice. I have to. It is, it is important. It is needed. It is yeah. imperative. Hey, that's it, that's it. Okay, so Rami, mean, tell me, how have you been in this time of the world that everything's been a bit crazy, we've been on lockdown? I know in yeah. SA, the lockdown has been very intense. So talk to me about that. What has this whole it period has. been like for you? It has, it has been so intense, you know. I mean, um, I just think that people did, uh, people did the most they could. They're still doing the best they can, you know. I mean, obviously it was unavoidable. We've had deaths we had people um you know getting infected getting the virus and um but yeah but then we still managed to get by somehow you know by the grace of god we still managed to just you know look forward to another day and you know it has kind of given uh, given us such a high sense of gratitude to be able to wake up each day and and understand the the, the importance of of life and the importance of family and the importance of people that are close to you, you know, uh, I think it has changed our perspectives in so many ways. Uh, me personally, I just think, you know, being in the lockdown, you know, you know, getting to, you know, when you're faced with yourself even more because there's no one excel except you and you get to, you know, make different life choices, different decisions. And, um, and it gets you to get to appreciate life even more, definitely. I yeah. think that's spot on. Couldn't have said it better. Definitely appreciating life a lot more. And when there's nowhere else to run, you have to face yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but definitely. also as an entertainer, what has um, this lockdown experience been like for you? Because I know many in the entertainment industry were a bit worried. We're like, yo, what's going to happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has, it, a lot of people really took a big knock. I mean, I'm sure you know that. I mean, I know that uh, Nigeria is like such a big, big entertainment hub, but then so is South Africa. And a lot of things that we do, whether it's, 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 it's your normal traditional business, it doesn't matter what it is. Entertainment is taken very seriously in the country. You know, the arts in terms of performances, in terms of how we express ourselves. And, mm -hmm. and it was such a, a shocker to actually get to do absolutely nothing and i know that a lot of artists have found themselves in very tight corners you know now you don't get to do what you like you don't get to do what you love because as entertainers as well we love feeding off the energy of people and next thing that whole thing that gives you that that mm, that push that excitement that energy it's 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 not there and yeah we found ourselves in a very difficult position and also not just only that i mean we can always talk about job losses. A lot of people lost their jobs. A lot of people mm -hmm. were just found so discouraged, so despondent. And um, it has, it's, it's been a very sad time for entertainers, for, for, for everyone as a whole, you know, music, TV, um, you know, acting, everything, especially theater. I mean, people who love live entertainment and now we don't have it. 
it, it has been a, a big big blow to be quite honest yeah, yeah. it has yeah. been yeah but then now here we have isono about to premiere yes. on the 28th yes, the yes, whole yes, continent yes, yes. the world is about to see this project you guys have yes, been working on yes, what yes. does that feel like for you how do you feel this, about this this whole incredible thing you know with 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 isono you know isono is such a labor of love uh, a project you know um we put so much in it we put our hearts in it and and I, I really need to appreciate uh, um, Clive Morris Productions because when when there was a point where, you know, the, 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 the numbers were just getting high, numbers of infections were getting high and we ended up having to down tools, you know, and mm -hmm. they've just been so supportive and, you know, keeping in check, just checking how everyone is doing. And and I think for us, it was such a blow because we had just started working, just started yeah. shooting. And then that excitement all of a sudden is being cut short. Um by 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 the pandemic and yeah it, it we were so disappointed and now and we couldn't wait to get back i mean we'll talk to each other in our whatsapp group and then we'll have zoom meetings and we'll just you know keep encouraging each other making sure that everyone is safe and that everyone's family is doing okay and you know i mean they supported us i mean I mean, even financially, you know, they still remember that, you know what, you still have bills to pay, you still have kids to take care of, you still have your families to take care of, you still need to live, you know, and they still did that for us. And I think that was one of the best love gifts we could ever, we could ever receive. But besides that, we couldn't wait to get back to work because the story is amazing. Um, and we now started just gelling with each other. And everyone kept on saying, when are we going back? When are we going back? <laughs> and now look, here we are. We are back at work. And now we've got a new date. And it looked like it was going to be a long way to go. And with only five days, five days, Just we, are like in. That. we are in. I am so excited. I can't wait for everyone to see what we've been working on, what we've been cooking. It is so, so worth it definitely I, worth it I love, that. I love that major shout out to the production team for just making sure that all our stars were taken care of and just everyone cast yeah. because it can't have been easy really for anybody no to no no it wasn't um, yeah. with the atmosphere yeah. of concern and all of that but i, I love mean, the channel as well i mean yeah oh, goodness man i mean bet because don't forget that i mean we are like we are the unique babies of bet okay yeah i mean yes. because we are the first the first drama first first African drama. So people need to recognize. Do you know hey. So yes, yes, yes. That's as <laughs> the unique ones. <laughs> That's it. They must recognize. If I hear it, they're going to hear it. I also it noticed something when you were talking, you talked very much about, um, you know, you're getting ready, you're bonding already with like the cast and crew. And I just yeah. wonder, have you worked with any of the other um, lead actors before? Is this all your first time coming together? What was that no. atmosphere? Uh, I've I've worked with 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 Shabane, uh, who okay. plays Mum Lily. I've worked with Ntati, who plays Mary, who's my sister. Oh, and really? I've worked with um, TK. I've worked with Wohang. I've worked with Fezile. I've worked with uh, with almost everybody. Who have you know? I've had. I've worked with Senzo. <laughs> I've worked with you. I've worked with most of them. With yes. Natasha Tahani as well. Um, uh. But. But but can I tell you the most the most amazing thing and the most um, the biggest blessing is that some of the new people that I've never worked with before I mean mm -hmm. obviously because I'm old they are young so obviously they would know who I am but I just like the way that they've never been intimidated instead they really rose to the occasion there's such mm -hmm. a bunch of talented young people they're such great actors they're passionate they know what they're doing they know what they want to achieve they understand what the world is act of acting is all about and they've put so much effort in everything that they do and they just they blow us away all the time oh yes and i've worked with with nak as well i mean yeah mm. but but it is mm. so it is such a pleasure to see uh, such vibrant lively people who are eager to not only learn, but to also give of themselves, knowing that the final product has to be the best product we can ever put out there. That is beautiful. I love that. I love that. For those of you who are watching, of course, you know who it is. It's Randy here. Who has she not worked with? See, in Nigeria, we say, when you are big, you are big. She's a blown somebody. You understand what I'm saying? 
I mean, this is cool stuff. So um, <laughs> but let's get back a bit to your career. Um, and I'd love to know, was this, especially in your acting career, because I know you have a, a career in so many aspects of the entertainment industry, yeah. and you are prolific in what you do. Um, but in terms of your acting career, is this what you sort of envisioned for your life and in the career and how it's gone so far? Yes, and, and I'm glad, that I'm, I'm very happy and I'm blessed. I mean, sometimes I, I, I don't want to lie and say, I think I am where I thought I, w I was going to be. I mean, there are some moments that have completely blown me away. And, I, I, and I'm so grateful for each and every opportunity. But it is always such a pleasure. And, and it brings me so much joy to get to do what I love. And, 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 and then I call it work as well. So something that I'm completely passionate about, I call it work. It's a gift and um, I've invested everything, all of me into it. And it's good when it pays off and it's good when people love what we do. And, uh, and yeah, I can never fault it. It has been such an amazing journey for me. And I'm, I'm, I'm always like blown away completely at how things have turned out. That is so cool. Like, I just love speaking. I like everything you're saying is just making me smile and glow. And I'm like, yeah, I like this. I like this story. So I'm going to jump into a couple of questions because we've had some questions coming, of course, from people. Yeah. And I want, I want to ask as many as they can. Now, for those of you who don't know, Rami's been in a number of, like, you know, television series, films. Um, one of the series uh, is a series called The Queen. And one of the questions we have is actually a question saying, what do you personally think about Isondo? And is it anything like The Queen? No, it is not anything like the Queen at all, especially, especially when it comes to the character. On the Queen, I was playing um, Gracious, who was this flamboyant, rich, very, like a serious go-getter, you, know, yeah. you know, all of that, you know, all gangster and all of that. But then when it comes to Isodo, Isodo, I play Jumaima. Jumaima is yeah. quiet, she is sweet, she's so childlike, she's so innocent and, well, not so really innocent, but she is absolutely lovable. And I think the audience will just be I think they'll be happy to see me in a different kind of light. Not lips, not glamour, no makeup at all. No lashes, no nothing, nothing, nothing. I, I just walk it. in as I am with my hair plated with Benny and Betty. Do you know what Benny and Betty is? No, what is that? It is when you plait like with wool, when you use wool to plait okay. your hair in little uh -huh. straight lines. Yeah, oh. we call it and Betty in South Africa. Oh, we, yeah. We just call it thread, like doing thread. So you like wind it, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And and then one, hand. one hand to another and all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. that's what yes. we call Benny and Betty. Yeah, it's hey. like a little railway track. <laughs> hey, does it? Does yeah. <laughs> that is that, is that is that is that that is Jumaima for you. So so and 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 the world of Isono, the way it's 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 based, it is so it is so basic. It is so identifiable, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, I know that when it comes to to a lot of a lot of stories, we we, te we, we the idea is to tell to be as real as possible. But then you also add a little bit of fantasy. You want to add mm -hmm. some of that listen glamour that people that world that people wish they lived in. You know, okay. when you drive cars that people mm -hmm. you know want to drive. You know, sometimes <laughs> I drive. There's some shows where I drove cars that I can't even afford myself. <laughs> Especially even on the Queen, I was just like, "Oh my gosh, I'm driving this car." So fancy, this is so cool, you know. And and um, and now with Jumaima, I just find myself at home, just at yeah. home. Yeah. yeah, and I think that is something that, that is incredible. And 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 you and and I think the the audience will get to see um, because now there's no. There's no trills, there's no frills, there's no a lot of deco in terms of, you know, uh, uh, aesthetics. So all you get to see is the raw, plain, bare acting of people who are trying to tell a basic but unique story mm -hmm. that everyone will identify with. <sighs> I love that. I'm so tempted to ask for more information, but I don't want that to be spoilers because on the 28th, it's out officially on the 28th. If you guys haven't seen the clips, go watch the clips. They're up on the BET page, yeah. up on YouTube. Yeah. Jemima is the cutest character, I have to say. Like, she is. She is. <laughs> instantly lovable like and there's something you bring to it so when i saw that and then i saw you and other i was like oh oh that's that's a whole she is a whole other person it's a, 
it's a whole yeah. other thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited okay. about I'm excited about that character, M. Um, yeah. Definitely. Don't. Yeah. Definitely excited to see you. And I know a lot of the people who are watching here are super excited about you. Um, when Yay. they found out you were interviewing Rami, they were like, Oh, the big deal. I mean, like you are blown, blown, like they're looking for you. So I want to know, because you are such a celebrity, um, what is the weirdest situation or the most awkward situation you found yourself in because of like celeb status, whether it's people following you around or asking for autographs in a strange place? What's the, what's the strangest one so far? Well, I don't think, oh gosh, there, there are just too many. I can't think of, oh, I know. On, on, on uh, Saturday, I took my kids out for, for lunch. And I mean, obviously, only now we just started, you know, the place just getting unlocked. The whole country is being unlocked and everything. And I took my kids um, out for lunch. And yes, I, I don't wear makeup. I mean, I hardly wear makeup when I, when I go anyway. But uh, when I go out, especially if I'm at home. So mm. as I was walking in, there was a group of ladies who were sitting and they were having, they were having, they were having uh, their own lunch. And, mm. I, and, and I think, and this is one of the many situations that makes me, feel awkward because you know when someone wants to tell everyone that they know you they recognize yeah. you but they they're not necessarily talking to you but they're ah. talking about you or talking at you and they, they then they, they always pass some weird remarks okay the latest one this past saturday now they're talking about themselves is that her yeah it's her oh you think it's her of course it's her but oh my god but she's gone so fat and you know i mean i know i know and, and, and yeah, oh no, but I didn't mind because I, listen, I don't care what size I am. I'm comfortable in whatever size. I think, I think I'm like the coolest person I've ever seen in the world. I mean, I mean, come on now, look at me. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. That's why you glow. It's from the inside. Yeah. And, and the, and the funny thing is, is, is when, is when, um, which I say, what makes it awkward is, how sometimes people don't get that you don't necessarily have to talk at me or about me because when you talk about me or at me I, i'm not going to respond because it's like if you're on your phone i can't come in and jump into your conversation and when you don't say anything they're like oh yeah but she's not even saying anything yeah, to us. <laughs> yeah but i'm like saying no no you you talk to me then i will talk to you you know but yeah but it's it's those situations that for me, they're a bit awkward. But other than that, I'm hardly faced by anything. I'm I'm actually I'm actually irritating at how unfazed I am. I'm, I'm <laughs> Please don't ever change. Like everyone in the comments, like we love you, Rami. We love oh, you, and you are. I'm like they're in there. So I wonder, does your celeb status does it affect your family? Like, how does your family feel about it? Um, at home and when you're um, out and about. No, they're they're okay. You know, I, I I try to to just be myself all the time. I'm always myself mm. all the time. I'm loud. Yeah. I hardly change. I mean, I think a lot of people would would tell if I am like extremely sick. They'll be like, "Are you sick today?" Because I, I hardly change. My behavior is always uh -huh. the same. But 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 that and and sometimes when I say I'm loud, it doesn't mean like I walk into a room and start talking loudly. But I yeah. feel like they, they, there's a particular aura that everyone has. And I think my aura is kind of loud. And sometimes yeah. some people are very scared to kind of approach me because they're like, we don't know what she's going to say. Uh, but, but when people speak to me, I do speak to them. And, um, but I've never had that whole, I'm a celebrity kind of a vibe. Do you know yeah. who I am? I want that best table in the house. No, 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 no. Uh, I yeah. don't do that. I mean, there are times where sometimes you, some measures have to be taken. Safety measures, for instance. You can't just think you can just walk anywhere and everywhere and put yourself in in danger, you know. But you need yeah. to be also be mindful of your surroundings and of people that you hang out with. But I think one of the things that I, I don't like entertaining is when I'm with my kids, especially because I've got a lot of nephews and nieces and and i also have like a, a, a little granddaughter Mohau, who is amazing and yeah. and there's like 13 of them and when i'm with them i the last thing i want is to to stop and chat and take pictures and all of that but i sometimes do say to people say i'm so sorry i'm with the kids um 
so it would be difficult for me to kind of get into conversations and not only that because i'm scared you know how children disappear you look yes. at your phone one minute and then yes. the next second the child is gone it's and you gone. don't know where they are yeah. so yeah. sometimes i just become so aware i have to be aware of my surrounding and also be present with the people that i'm with it's not like it's not i'm trying to i'm not trying to avoid or to ignore you as the yeah. other person but i'm also trying to be present with the people that i'm with at yeah. that time yeah i love that as as well as this presence because i know like we're coming to the end of this chat and i must let you go soon ish but um as well as this presence and this humility that you are evidently display like it's inherent in your in your behavior and your demeanor i wonder what else do you think has contributed to your level of success today um a lot of patience a lot of patience i think that's that's what has worked and 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 basically knowing that um you know everyone needs to run their race you know and um and if i don't if i don't stick with being me and giving the best of me then then i would have completely failed can you imagine mm -hmm. if i was trying to be you or you were trying to be me we would have failed each other because yeah. we didn't do what we are called to do because i also think that as much as people think that entertainment is just entertainment acting and all of that but it is a special calling because you you're sending a particular message you're sending a particular energy into the world you're 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 fixing other things or sometimes you can even break stuff you can either make break fix mend heal whatever the case might be but at the yeah. end of the day all of that is still a bit of a calling and i think that that is one of the things that has sustained me i've always said let me do my work my work will speak for me you know sometimes the fame that that lasts or the fame that sticks with you is the fame that you don't pursue i've never said i wanted to be famous i just wanted to do what i like doing yeah. and the fame that comes and finds you is the one that will stick with you because you didn't necessarily have to go out there uh, kill a couple of people to try and get to where you want to be instead you didn't say hey look at me people said hey come let's go look at that then people came to look at you you didn't stand on top of the mountain and say attention attention you know <laughs> and i think that's what makes makes that kind of success work you know then it's more sustainable it is small it's long you know the life span is just you just keep growing so do what you do everything else falls into place oh absolutely love that like i can see people up in the comments like yes preach absolutely um big shout out to lola adamson all the way from california actually la she's watching as well so literally your work is traveling everywhere everywhere and we're so excited so before i let you go um and for those of you who've just joined i've been chatting with the phenomenal um exceptional rami chuen an incredible actress from south africa who's also one of our lead cast for the daily drama series each so no it premieres on the 28th of September BT channel 129 guys welcome yeah. to the community make sure you set Thank your reminders you. all right all right uh, but rami let the good people know in your own words why do you think that they should be tuning in to watch you so no what makes this particular drama series so special for you what makes what makes isono so special is because it is a it is a very unique story to tell um and it's something that a lot of people know about but i don't think we've ever had a story that tells that kind this kind of this kind of a storyline it is it is well written well scripted and we've got a bunch of talented people who have sacrificed and put so much work into it it is beautiful it is just it is it is one of the most amazing um bed drops of what africa is all about and south africa to be to be specific and mm -hmm. it will just um it will it there are places that will make you angry and there are places that will completely warm your heart but at <laughs> the end of the day it is a must watch it is a not to be missed please come join us you will not regret it it is amazing 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 hey uh this is rami before i let you go are can you play a quick game with me quick fire yeah. rapid questions sure, sure. just pick one or the other okay are you yeah. ready okay yeah. brenda fasi or lebo matosa <laughs> Brenda Fassi. Okay, Beyonce or Rihanna? Beyonce. Pop or Dombolo? Pop. <laughs> Sushi or Kota? Kota. <laughs> Instagram or Facebook? Um Instagram. No, but Quite Facebook, Facebook for content. Oh, oh, Quito or Amantiano? 
Uh, Kwaito, anytime. Hey, summer or winter nights? Summer. summer hey, winter. I'm I'm a summer person myself, so that's me it for me. I was born in winter, but I'm a summer person. <laughs> me, through and I through. I could never do winter for anything. <laughs> All those piles and, <laughs> piles and piles of clothes. For yes. what? For who? Yeah. No, oh, way. Give me no. one item. Yeah. Give me one item. That's yeah. what I'm yeah. wearing. Does it? <laughs> Ravi, you have been fantastic. Thank you so much for your time, for your Thank smile, you so for your for energy. Everything. Can't wait to see you. Yes, yes. See, you are stuck with me now. I'm following. I'm going to yeah. stalk you. I'm following you already. So just exactly. know I'm around. When you see follow storms, yeah, uh, does yeah, it. You all. When I come here, me, I find you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. We've got a question that's coming very quickly. Yeah. Um, okay. No black on black says Rami. What are your thoughts on domestic industrial growth and what do you think can make SA television industry um, capture the international market? That's a, that's a good question. I think we need to tell authentic stories uh, because I think this is, that's one of the things that work in the industry because I think mm. each and every uh, country has its own culture. So if you abandon your own culture and tell someone else's story, like I can't mm. tell an Amer American story. I'm not an American person. I'm not. So um, the only thing that I can do is to tell the story that I have lived, that's in my backyard. And if you stay as authentic as you can, then that is how you get the attention of the world. And I think right now, one of my best things to watch is K-dramas. The Koreans, they tell their own authentic yeah. stories and that's what yeah. makes it successful. And I've seen a lot, of, a lot of African stories coming up nicely. And you know what makes it work and what makes it sell? It is because we are telling what we know I don't need to go and ask and do research. Already we, we are living it. We understand it. We can only enhance it and tell the world out there, this is who we are. This is what we are all about. And that's what makes it work all the yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. Thank and you so much. The world is watching us. The world yes. is watching us. Yes. Definitely. Yes. It's our time. So what is this the TV? Definitely. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rami, thank you so much. I've had such a blast chatting with you. I'm looking forward to the premiere 28th of September. Is Sonia. Yeah. Make sure you catch it, guys. BT Channel 1 tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye. I love it. Guys, what what a great chat. I thoroughly enjoyed that conversation. I really hope you guys did too as well. If you're not following Rami, make sure you go over and follow her right now, Rami Choyne. She's such a vibe, such great energy. If you're not following me at Follow Storms, better go and follow now, now, now. What are you waiting for? Um, I've got to log off. I'm going to sign off right now. You can catch me over on my page. But big shout out to BT Africa fam, all of you out there on the continent, in the diaspora, you know, guys, we're building community in a real and authentic way, telling the stories that are about us, by us, and really for us to export to the entire world. And I cannot wait to be back again. In fact, I am going to be back again tomorrow. And I think I'm going to be interviewing Bohang. And he's a hottie, isn't he? Ooh, 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 ooh. The IG lives are going to be going on all the way till the 27th. Um, and then on the 28th, we are going to have the live premiere. Some people might get a bit of an exclusive screening before it officially goes live on BT Channel 129. So I don't know. Keep a look for the BT Channel and page right now um, so you get all, all the juicy details and exclusive information and gossip and whatnot. But for now, I should go, guys. Big love, as always, sending you all so much love and light by Storms. She got Fulu Storms signing up for now. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.